Hello, how do we calculate the last digit of big numbers? 2 to the power 454, 3 to the power 7896, 6 to the power 323, 7 to the power 1234, 8 to the power 987 or 4222. Let's make it tougher. Let's multiply all of them. How do we do it now? It looks tough. Let's make it slightly simple. Let's take an example of 1. Whichever is the number, if it ends with 1, however be the power, the last digit has to be 1. 1 to the power anything is 1. Same applies to 5. 5 to the power anything is 5. And 6, 6 to the power anything is 6. So 1, 5 and 6 will always repeat no matter what is the power. Let's take slightly difficult ones. Let's take an example of 4. Now 4 to the power 1 is 4, then it's 16, then it's 64, then it's 256. So we see it's alternating in 2's. 4, 6, 4, 6. Same thing happens for 9. It's 9, 1, 9, 1. So if here 4 and 9, it happens in the alternates of 2. Let's take slightly more ones. 2. So 2 is 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. We see that 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 4, 8, 6. It is moving in that order. Same thing happens with a different number like 3. It's 3, 9, 7, 1. Or 7, it's 7, 9, 3, 1. Or say 8, 8, 4, 2, 6. So 2, 3, 7 and 8. These are numbers which alternate on every 4. Let's see how it happens. Let's take for example 2 to the power 46. So every 4 times it's alternating. So if we remove all the multiples of 4, say 44, so the 2 is left. So 2 to the power 2, which is 4, that will be the last number. Same way, if we say 2 to the power 74, so let's remove all the multiples of 4. So 72 is the highest multiple. If you remove that, 2 is left. So 2 square again is 4. Let's do it slightly more technically. Say 2 to the power 454. So 2 to the power 454. Now let's divide it by 4. So 454 divided by 4, the remainder is 2. Hence, it will be 2 square. What happens if it's 2 to the power 456? It is perfectly divisible by 4. The remainder is 0. But technically, can you ever have a remainder of 4? So 2 to the power 4 will never come across, which here is equal to 2 to the power 0. So if it is 0 is the remainder, then 2 to the power 4, which is 2, 4, 8 and 6. 6 will be the last digit here. Let's put it back into the original equation that we had. 2 to the power 4, 5, 4 into 3 to the power 7, 8, 9, 6 into 6 to the power 3, 2, 3 and so on. So 2 has a cyclicity of 4. So we divide 4, 5, 4 by 4. 3 again has a cyclicity of 4. 6 does not have cyclicity, it is constant. So let's keep it 6 simply. 7 has a cyclicity of 4, 8 also has a cyclicity of 4 and 4 has a cyclicity of 2. In case of 4, what do we do? It's either even or odd. So let's go back. 2 square into 3 square into 6 into 7 square into 8 cube and it's 4 to the power 2. So we get the last digit as 4, 9, 6, 9, 2, 6. Let's multiply. 9, 9 is 81, so 1 is there, so we can rule it out. 6, 6 is a 36, so it's 6, let's put it one place. 4 into 2 is 8, so 6 into 8 is the final answer, which is nothing but 8. So the last digit of such a huge calculation is 8. This is how we can apply the same thing over and over again in different problems that we come across.